we're going to do a quick introduction to Fibonacci retracements here. These are commonly used when you're dealing with trending markets. So, you know, this is on the daily FX site. You can just go there yourself and mess around with it. With it. If I zoom back a little, I can kind of see, okay, this was a trending move. You can apply these on any time scale. So this is on a daily plot, but you could also use it on an hourly, even on a minute plot. So I'm just going to go down to, so I did pitchfork and fib, fib for Fibonacci retracement. So, so now we're set. Move this out of the way and we're ready. Now there is some basically I want to identify the low and the high. So in this move, you know, this would be the low. It's the bottom of it's when the trend began. And this would be the high. Now you could some people prefer using the solid bar you know where the candle closed as their bottom and their high other people like you know the wick the absolute low and the wick at the top it's it's a personal choice i mean there's there's no right or wrong answer there so i'm going to use the actual candle wick bottom here so I move it up and I set the level at the top there and I'll drag this across. So now we're done. Oh, I have to press the button. Yeah, now we're done. So what does this do for us? Well, it s sets bars at the different Fibonacci retracement levels. The main ones would be 50%. So that's, you know, halfway between the high and the low. Then there's the 61.8% and 38.2%. I tend to get, I, I might have said it wrong sometime in the previous lesson and call that 62% or 32% because you know thinking it's roughly a third but it's no it's 38.2% and these are other Fibonacci levels but uh, the, the 61.8 and 38.2 would be the main one that you know I would have in mind so what do these do for us well you can see you know it began here and it suddenly you know there was a high there at the 61.8 percent Fibonacci level likewise we can see here's a 23.6 percent level and there's kind of some action at that level as well in fact that's where we are at this moment when I am recording it in this particular market there was nothing at the halfway stage often there is now remember when the market was moving here it didn't know that this was going to be the top so it didn't know that this was going to be the 61.8% retracement level but magically 
it, it it did happen it did turn out to be a relevant uh level likewise here you know there was a high there it bounced off this level so this 76.4 percent level also turned out to be significant so that's what the Fibonacci level lets us do what I would be looking for in a market say if it's zooming along I'd go well it's probably going to go back and test these levels so I might I'd be I'd be looking to buy this trend when it fell to the 38.2% level you know so maybe I'm sitting here and I missed it but wait show patience and then magically since you know no market goes up in a straight line there'll be a period where it dips down and tests the mark the, the downside of the market so if I just waited and I had a order to buy at this level I would have snapped them up and now we're test we're at the 23.6 percent level again so you know that's one of the ways and that's mainly the way I would use the Fibonacci often I would look to you know buy at the half maybe put in a half buy order at the 50 percent level and half at the 38.2 or you maybe you would put an order to buy a half an order at 0 0.5 and one another half order at the 61.8 percent level and in fact some people would say you know if you saw the market having a top here you could then project forward and say this was going to be a top it's not an exact science it's just a, a framework to analyze trending markets in and I'll be using these ideas whenever I'm looking at markets because they're just it just provides me with a vocabulary and it structures your thoughts allows you to you know risk your trade and all that kind of stuff so that's just my introduction to Fibonacci retracements.